playoffs. So I'm a big football fan. I have been for a long time. Uh, over the last five, six years, I've kind of dropped off a little bit. I haven't watched a lot. Number one, my favorite team has been awful since 2016, 2017. They've been very, very bad. And on top of that, it's not so much that a lot of people made a big deal about Colin Kaepernick and the and all the politics that got into football. I didn't really care that much. What I had a problem with was that for a good two to three years, the NFL didn't know what a catch was. They didn't know how to define a catch. And with a especially with a a league that is going more and more and more dependent on passing and and these these high powered offenses. For you to not know what a catch is, it bothers me. And it was unwatchable because I'd watch one game and something was a catch, but in the you know the game a couple hours later, that same thing was not a catch. And that started to affect the the product in the playoffs. And it just it was it started to become too much where I I didn't like the politics coming onto the field, but I also didn't I also couldn't stand watching the game knowing that I I didn't know what the league considered as a catch. That is something to me is a, is should be basic and fundamental and it should be very simple. It's gotten better over the last couple of years, which is good. Um, Roughing still is kind of rough and I really think we need to get the instant replay stuff up to where technology is. There is no reason where we should still be in a situation where the NFL, where the referees are having you know, debris thrown at them by the fans because they can screw up and that's fine. You're human and the game is a lot faster. Yeah, you're going to screw up. Fine. But we have technology to kind of mitigate a lot of these things. And so I'm hoping that that gets cleared up uh, during this off season. But this season, my Cincinnati Bengals finally, finally won a playoff game. To put in perspective how long it has been since my Bengals won a playoff game. I was eight years old. And let's see. Yeah, I was eight years old. Eight. No, I was seven years old the last time they won a playoff game. So seven years old. Uh, Boomer Esiason was the Bengals quarterback at that time. And... Yeah, I mean, and to put this in perspective, I missed, I I don't remember watching that last playoff game. So I do not have any memories at all of watching my favorite football team win a playoff game. I've watched them lose many playoff games. So it was nice to be able to sit there and watch the game and they won. Um, it's just too bad that last week there were six games last weekend. Four of them were blowouts, which is never really that fun to watch. And the two best games were marred by shitty officiating. So, yeah, it's kind of rough. But, you know, we're here in the divisional round now. And so the week is going on like this. So starts with the Bengals versus the Titans in Nashville. It'll be followed up on Saturday. Uh, the 49ers going to Green Bay to face the Packers. The Los Angeles Rams going to Tampa Bay to take on the Tampa Bay Tom Brady's and the Buffalo Bills going to Kansas City to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. So these are all games that are actually on paper. They're all look exciting. I'm actually really kind of interested in all of these. I think it'll be uh, I think it'll be a fun weekend. So uh, we're, I'm just going to start with my predictions. I think, obviously, since they're my favorite team, I'm going to take the Bengals. I, I have to. So that's just it. I really think this game comes down to uh, uh, if it's going to be high scoring or low scoring. Because both of these teams have solid defenses, They're but their defenses aren't that great. The Titans has a better line up front right now just because uh, one of the Bengals' defensive tackles, Larry Ogunjobi, he's injured and he won't be he won't be playing anymore this this season. So that kind of sucks because he got injured last week. But I think on t I think what's going on is that I think 
the Bengals have brought in enough defensive tackles to kind of keep that position fresh throughout the game. And I think they'll they'll you know find a way to to pull that up. On top of that, the Titans do give up a lot of big plays. Their defense, you know, their defense will hold, but they'll give up that big play, that 20 yard, 30 yard play. And that has been, at least over the last month or so, the Bengals kind of bread and butter. If they do that, they, they're going to beat you. And when you have Joe Burrow to Jamar Chase, you have Joe Burrow to T. Higgins, and you, you've got a Tyler Boyd in the slot, I think that's going to make for a more high-scoring game. So I actually put this prediction out there. Uh, when was that? Was back on the, Okay, so on the 19th, so yesterday. I put it out there pretty early in the morning. I said, if the Titans win, the score will be fairly low, 24 to 16. That's what I think that will be. But I'm going with the Bengals, 41-21. I think it's going to be kind of close for probably three quarters, maybe three quarters, a little over three quarters. And then I think the Bengals are just going to run them out the building. I think you're going to see some some really solid, uh, just some solid scoring in the fourth quarter. Bengals are just going to kind of wear them out and I could or I mean again I think it's gonna be high scoring so I think it could go that way or the Bengals get an early lead you know two two quick touchdowns the Titans statistically do not play well from behind so if they get down by more than 10 all of the good things they do go away so I think if you put the ball in Ryan Tannehill's hands to win it I don't think he's gonna be able to do it so that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking the the Bengals win 41-21. And I, you know, if you're if you're betting on them, might as well bet on the Bengals. They're the underdogs in this too. So they're about a three-point dog. Uh, moving on, I think the uh 49ers versus the Packers. I think this has a lot of good stuff going for it. The Niners, though, I think are are overmatched here. Number one, they're in Green Bay. And when I checked the weather last, the uh the weather for Saturday in Green Bay, I think the high is supposed to be 19 degrees. So that's the high, but they're also playing at night. So it'll most likely be more like in the single digits. Um, Green Bay is a bay. It's right on the lake. So it's um, it could be windy as well. And wind chill factor dropping down San Francisco. Yeah, I just, I just don't see this team going in and being able to compete with Aaron Rodgers and and that team. I just don't think, especially not in Green Bay. So I'm going to take the Packers. I would say the Packers probably, I think it's kept kind of close because of the weather, but I think the Packers probably pulled this out something like, you know, 27, 17, something like that. I think the Packers win pretty convincingly, but um, it's not like a total blowout. So moving on to Sunday's games, Um, never bet against the Tom Brady's ever i never bet against tom brady uh for those of you who are into mixed martial arts you know back in the day you you just never every time i bet against randy couture randy couture would just destroy somebody and i was like whoa i didn't think he was gonna win and he would win so i kind of have the same thing about uh the tampa bay buccaneers especially with tom brady you never bet against tom brady you never bet against the team he's on so i'm gonna go with the buccaneers in this game Matthew Stafford looked fine last week, but that's the first game in about six weeks that he's actually looked decent. And I think it was less about him looking good and more about the uh, uh, the Cardinals just playing terribly. So that's what I'm going with. I'm going to take the the Bucks on this. I'm going to go with I again. Tom Brady's kind of lost a few of his weapons here and there, but I think he's getting a couple back. We'll see. So I'll keep it fairly low scoring, but I'm going to go with uh, 24-16. I'll go with the Buccaneers 24-16 again uh, over the Rams. And then the game that I think is going to be the best game, and I mean this as I think it's going to be very fun to watch, and I, I think even though the Bills have a really good defense, I don't think the defenses are going to show up really at all. I really can see this game i think the over under on this game if you're a betting person i think the over under on this game is 50 i want to say 54 and a half so i'm thinking if i would say bet the over remember i'm not responsible for you losing money because i'm always wrong but 
this I, this game has really two great quarterbacks and two and those quarterbacks have really good receivers so i could see this just being a track meet going up and down the field you know the punters can just kind of take the day off kind of thing and i could really see this going uh going a certain way i'm pulling for the chiefs primarily because i think my Bengals already proved they can beat the chiefs earlier this season so i'm um, obviously i'm pulling for the chiefs just because i think my Bengals can beat them uh this it's easier to beat them than the bills and so i'm gonna go with the chiefs and i i, I think it's gonna be something like 45 to 41 it'll be a game like that really high scoring and they just it's a it's a track meet going back and forth and and i gotta give the chiefs if you're in a track meet who has the better offense i think the chiefs have a better offense and i think you're gonna get a game like that 